Hello, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what is a passphrase and how to set it up on Ledger Flex. You know how you have your recovery phrase uh, consisting of most probably 24 words or less if you were using a different device to generate the phrase and <clears throat> uh, this uh, on based on this phrase uh, on the whole phrase private keys are generated and they are stored um, securely on this device now um, a passphrase is something that you can set manually a, f a word that you will uh, create yourself and it will function as a, a 25th or 13th if you have 12 words in a passphrase in a recovery phrase just as the, as the 25th for example word as an additional word and it will make your device generate completely different private keys that it would than it would make based on the recovery phrase itself which means that if you add a passphrase in onto your existing recovery phrase it will generate a completely new wallet but can be recovered with the same recovery phrase although you'll still need to remember that you'll need to later on add your passphrase onto that because the recovery phrase just will if you use another device then enter the recovery phrase itself without the passphrase then you'll have access to assets that are stored on the wallet that only uses the recovery phrase without a passphrase and mm, you can for example use two wallets that way one with a passphrase one without a passphrase or five wallets one without a passphrase and four with a pass uh, with passphrases or you can use four wallets and all of them will have passphrases and you just won't transfer any money on your wallet without a passphrase feel free to set it up however you like and now i'm going to show you how to set up it on the device and by the way, it's very important to note uh, that the passphrase is um, case sensitive, space sensitive, and also that it uh, can have uh, special symbols like numbers or any other special symbols, like for example, dashes, question marks, and stuff like that. I'm gonna enter my pin to the um, device, then let's approve it, and let's go to the settings. Now, once I go to the right, you'll see advanced. Then you'll see set passphrase. Now you can either set a passphrase and attach it to a new pin or set a temporary passphrase. A temporary one, I'm gonna explain it first. Once you enter it, you'll have access to the wallet with the passphrase. So to the, I call it a sub wallet. Um, and you'll have access to it, you can connect it with app, transfer money, and once you lock the device, it'll go back to the wallet without a passphrase. Uh, so this is a temporary passphrase, it, it just works until you lock the device. Now, passphrase that's attached to a new pin will mean that depending on which pin you enter while unlocking the device, you'll either access the wallet without a passphrase or with a passphrase. And as I said, remember your passphrase because if something happens to your device later on, then of course your device can be recovered um, because you can enter your um, recovery phrase uh, to a different device and your wallet will be recovered. But if you have your money on a recovery place, uh, phrase plus passphrase, then you'll also need to enter the passphrase on that other device to be able to use the, uh, the money that's on the passphrased wallet. Now I'm gonna click on set passphrase and attach it to a new pin. Now choose a new pin for the passphrase and it has to be a different pin than your main pin. Let's approve it and re-enter it to confirm 
Now let's approve it and enter your passphrase. As I said, it's case sensitive, so it's pretty important. Now you need to click on continue. If it's correct, click on yes, it's correct. Then uh, remember that forgetting your passphrase will lock you out of your funds. And also, um, by the way, the passphrase can be set from one up to about 30 digits. I think it's 30, 31 or 32. I don't really remember that. But now you'll need to enter your main pin. Approve it. And now we'll confirm the passphrase and it's attached to a new pin. So now I'm logged into the um, wallet without a passphrase. If I lock the device and if I unlock it and if I enter the second pin, I'll basically use it with a passphrase now. So there will be completely different assets and it functions as a completely different wallet but can be recovered from the same recovery phrase, which is quite nice. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.